What's going on guys? This is not a video I would normally do, but I haven't seen anyone do a boxing ring like this at all on all of YouTube and I've seen every video that has to do with building a boxing ring ever. So... <coughs> <coughs> So I pulled up all the good ideas and we made one and it turned out really, really, really nice. Um, in a second I'm going to show you a video from the day that we assembled it and uh, then I'm going to show you some pictures at the end and I really hope you enjoy it. And you hit that like button because you probably had a hard time trying to find this video just like everyone else and hitting the like button would really help other people see it and it would help me out a lot. So thank you very much. Without further ado, how we built our boxing ring. Okay, so for our boxing ring, um, it only it came out to a little bit less than $200 for all of it. Um, there's quite a bit of stuff, so we've got 4x4 four four posts, and each one of these is 4 feet tall, so we've got 4 posts. Um, and then the rest of the wood that we have is made from 2x4, so we've got 2x4 supports. This is 4 feet down here, 2.5 feet, and then the base for this, because this comes off completely, as you can see over there, it actually just gets mounted onto the, the big that we have. So we've got our 4x4, four four. this is a 2x4 and it's 2.5 feet. This from here to here is a 2x4 uh, uh, that's 2.5 feet as well. Same on this side, same support. And we build them and it'll look like that on the side. So all you do is you take your 2x4s and you angle cut them at a 45 degree angle, pull them together, then you screw them up into this and then you angle cut on both sides another 2x4 that's 2.5 feet and you can put it in as a support and this, is, this is very 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 sturdy and then that just gets set onto here and screwed into the bottom so um, again we've got our 4x4s we have a total of 16 feet 4, 4, 4, 4 and then we've got 10 foot long 2x4s for the ground and we're doing uh, we have 8 of them so we're doing Side so we can have a 20 by 20 ring um, and then the ropes will get hung in a little bit less and then uh, then the last thing we have is this is a 10 foot 2 by 4 so it's two and a half two and a half two and a half two and a half and same with there so you'll need eight over here for the ground you'll need eight 10 foot 2 by 4s then you'll need one two three four more 10 foot 2 by 4s and you'll only need two um, eight foot four by four, and then for the hardware, it's just these little uh, eye ring, uh, whatever you want to call them. You just screw them in. We, uh, you drill a little pilot hole, screw them in, and then we have uh, turnbuckles. The turnbuckles were like four bucks, and a pack of hundred of these was like ten bucks or something like that. So um, you'll just need enough to get twelve of these: three, six, nine, twelve, and then you need turnbuckles: three, six, nine, twelve turnbuckles. And then your rope, and the last thing you need is uh, obviously optional. You just need a cover in for the rope. Um, you can use better rope. We just use like thin paracord, but um, but yeah, the covering we chose was uh, pool noodles. So we're just gonna slice some pool noodles, put it over the rope, and we tape the tape the pool noodles to the rope. And that's how we built our boxing. Room. How's it going guys? I've got some other photos from that day of the ring that I'm going to show you in just a second but I want to thank you for watching and I really want to urge you to hit that like button. It's a little bit of a different video from what I usually do but I figured I, why not share it because I looked all on YouTube for how we would build this thing and no one did it the way we did it and really I think this is the best way to do it with a budget of $200 or less, much less actually. It ended up coming out to like $150 and we didn't even return everything. But what I did was I look around YouTube and I found all these different like styles of how people did it and it was like some didn't work for us, some did but they were too expensive and things like that and I took all the good ideas and I brought them together and this is what we came up with. So if you're gonna build this or you enjoyed this or if this was helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and here are some awesome photos from the same day. Hold the film. <laughs> 